This yeah. is what started the whole That's problem. Exactly. Campers feeding them. Here's the culprit. Escaped 17 times last week. I have a big problem. I'm not a cowboy, and I have to separate these, this cow from the rest of the cows, and it's super, super dangerous. So we have a sign here at Thunder Canyon saying, please do not feed the cows, and it's for a reason. We actually had a camper that continued to feed the cows apples after we told her explicitly a couple of times not to feed them apples. She actually started feeding them apples on the wrong side of the fence. Now this bull calf was just amazing because it wasn't bothered by the electric fence. It would take the hit to get through that fence to get to those apples. This became a huge problem because all of the other cows never really left the area they were supposed to stay in, but this one bull calf, he just kept escaping on us all the time. We couldn't stop him. And this became a big problem because it took me three weeks of chasing this little guy all over the place, getting phone calls from the neighbors. He's wandering down the main highway of 141 here in Idaho, Alabama, and it became a game to this little guy. Every time he saw me coming, he'd run away. I tried absolutely everything. I tried adding additional fencing. I added posts. So as you guys can see, one of the ways I decided to try to fix this is by adding a third line below the second line. And so I ran about 1,000, 1,500 feet of line, the lower line, to keep him from going through. The funniest thing about that is, is it, didn't, it didn't even phase him. He continued to go through that, even taking the hit, but he continued to, to get out on me. It got, it got so bad, guys, that I, at one point, was just going to shoot him and bury him. So I went down and begged the local butcher to, to, to take this cow earlier because he has a two month backlog. And I, I was super excited when he said he would take him early. I have a big problem, I'm not a cowboy, and I have to separate these, this cow from the rest of the cows, and it's super, super dangerous. In the last two weeks, I had a baby born both on the last two Sundays. This made it even a little bit harder because eventually I was gonna have to get these cows into a small area and separate the one I was going after after so that I could try to transport him to the butcher. So I just put some sweet feed up inside the barn in the chutes. I've got about five or six to go in there, but of course the one I want to go in there ain't going in there. So I'm just sitting back waiting and I can see this little baby right there. The one is right there. Waiting for this guy right there to go in there. See him? I need him to come down here this way. And I got him. All right, I got him. I freaking got him. Now we gotta get the bull out of there. Pants. Go out, bulls. Look out, man. Come on out. Come on, bully. <coughs> come on, back out. Look out, bully. Come on, get out of the way. <coughs> Come on, move. Hey, buddy. Look what I caught. Hey, boy. There he is. I got him. Hi, right, guys. Now you gotta cooperate. Come on. Come on. Gotcha! Gotcha! Ha ha ha! Now I gotta get out of here.
I got you. I got you, young fella. I got you, buddy. Huh? I got you, little bugger. Now what are you gonna do, huh? But guys, I'm not out of the woods yet. I still have to get these cows out of this pasture in a different pasture because they're agitated. Right, guys. And then run down, get Mercedes and Sage, hook up a trailer I've never used before, and pull no, it into an area that looked like it was about a foot and a half of mud and praying that I'm not gonna get stuck to load this little guy in a one-ton truck. Come on, bully, move, move. They were agitated, they were upset. I needed to move them out of the field they were in to the next pasture. So I'm gonna open this gate and let them over into another section. And hopefully they'll walk out and I'll close this gate and it will be just me and that bull calf by himself. Well, I'm country, was done. country all the time. Yes, I was raised in the fields of hay between the mason and the guys. You can hunt me down 20 years from now. Find me at the Come on, come on through. Cause come I'm on. country, country all the time. So what I wanted to do is open this gate. Now that I've got the calf caught, get these guys out of here because they're really agitated. And I need Mercedes to help me to load them up. So if I can get them all over here. Hey, Mama, you can't leave your baby. The babies have stayed behind. Horrible mothers. Absolutely horrible mothers. They left their two babies behind. The one that was born yesterday and the one that was born last week. What you doing there, little fella, huh? Come on, you guys. These are all full cows. Look at this guy. Look at this one, huh? What are you doing there, little baby? Mama's not around so I can touch you. Huh? Can I touch you? Huh? Can I touch you? Huh? <laughs> There you go. I can't believe that baby's not following her mama. Come on, go follow your mama. Go ahead. Come on. Come get her, mama. Come get her, mama. Come get her. Yeah, now bring her over that way. I'm not gonna do nothing to her, okay? Follow mama, baby. Follow mama. <laughs> Come on, baby. Get over there. Get over there. Don't go through that way. That's it. There you go. There you go. Follow mama. Am I going to have to pick you up? Come on, guys. Come on. Go through. Come on. Hmm. Right. We got one left. The baby. Well, I got the one we go left. No, 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 no. Come on, buddy. You're gonna get hurt. That's it. That's it. Keep going. Come on. Keep going. A little bit further. You're almost there. Come on. There you go. Go ahead. Come on. Come on. There you go. Watch out for that mud. Yeah, I got them all over there. <laughs> all right, so I got the cows out in the other pasture, the other neighbor's pasture. They got three pastures. Looks like they're moving down towards Thunder Canyon, which is good. I cannot believe I caught him. Pick up the truck and the trailer, bring it down, go through this gate, 
back in over here bring it down this way i've got him inside of that catch and we'll see how it goes man it doesn't matter what i do i believe I gotta figure out how this thing works. Well, I'm gonna go run back, get Mercedes and Sage, because I don't have any help with this. I've done this by myself so far. All right. <laughs> that was my Christmas gift. So I've got them locked up. I've okay. moved the other cows into the next pasture over. So it should be a lot safer to, because they're pretty riled up right now with him. The babies, the one we're bringing to the butcher is whining a lot. Okay. So they're all kind of agitated. Right. Sage, you ready to go move the calf over? You ready? You ready? I'm coloring. You're dressed for it. Yeah. Yes. I got yeah, this. This apple. is this is what started the problem, so this might be what ends the problem. I chased that little bugger around for what two, three weeks. Then I went down to Crows and I begged him to let us go in early because they got a Crows butcher has a two month backlog. Yep. So I went in and I talked to Philip, and Philip squeezed us in today, um, but he told me I couldn't bring him in dead. I guess there's an FDA guy there, and he used to be alive. you needed to deliver them alive. So. I got you. I got this apple. Let's if, go. it was, if I didn't have to deliver them alive, I would have put them down a long time ago, and I just would have forklifted them in the back of my truck, but we couldn't do that. Let's go. I got this. All right, this. let's go. Good. Come on, you ready? Yeah. Come on, Sage. Let's Come go. Come on, Sage. All right, let's go. She's got both unicorns, so she's good. Okay. Right over here, kiddo. Sage, you're going to the truck for the trailer. You're going to climb in the back of the truck. Catch that cow. So, right. <sighs> oh, I do have gloves in the truck, I just haven't been using them. What's up, guys? What are you doing, huh? Get away from my truck. Oh, there's Mercedes. Go get her. Oh, the guineas. I know. They'll get out of the way. Oh. Look out, guys. Come on. That is so funny what just happened. What? Hi. Hi. I caught the calf. Damn, he's good. One more foot. Stop. Perfect. Uh, so we're going to try to get him to come down the chute now, load him into the back, and we should be done. We'll see. Here. And this is what Mercedes said to bring just in case. This yeah. is what started the whole That's problem. Exactly. Campers feeding them. Yep. What? Can't open it? I don't think I can open it. If anybody can, it's you. Farmer John! I don't think. Bostonian Farmer John. That should do it. So what I'm gonna do is try to get him to come down here, run that way, right up into the thing, and then I gotta slam the thing shut. 
And I just need to stay out of the way you and just capture need to, it on camera. You just need to shoot this, okay, and keep me in the frame. <laughs> Looks like he might be thinking of leaving. Ah, you don't know what to do. Ah, all right, I know you're upset. Okay, can we get a stick? Oh, he's, it's working, it's working. It's working, it's working. He's running. Right in there, right in there. He's going in, he did it. Right in there. You got him in! You got him in! So pork chop. Pork chop is going to the butcher. I see. <laughs> I got him! <laughs> yes! <laughs> Alright, pork chop. That's what Mercedes called you. I call you ribeye. But pork chop is more accurate. Hi, pork chop. Oh, give him the apple. So Here, you wanna you wanna have an apple? Come here, buddy. Come on. Want an apple? Hey, you. Come here. This is what started this whole thing. Here, buddy. Come on. You gonna eat it? Oh, yeah. Good. It's your last meal, kid. Yeah. Eat it. <laughs> He's got the whole thing in his mouth. Good job, buddy. You gonna eat the apple? Here's your last dinner, buddy. Yeah. I was tired of chasing you around for weeks and weeks and weeks. You're going to make some good ribeye. What a morning. Time to John. Come on. Oh my gosh. I'm going to pull John, up. John, you were the man. <laughs> I'm serious. You are the man. Here. You pulled some stuff out of your... You see that white thing on the floor? Yeah, I see. Okay, good. I think that was actually more humane than getting all the babies at once. Yeah, look at him. Hey, buddy. Hey. Hey. Oh, he's giving us the back. He yeah. knows. I'm, I'm sorry, sorry, buddy. I'm sorry. You would have lived longer had you, you not been a poop. So we're on our way to the butcher, and to be quite frank, guys, I'm a little bit nervous about this as well. I'm grateful that all of this had got to this point, but... I don't know what to do when I get to the butcher. I have no idea where I'm supposed to go or what I'm supposed to do. And these people already think I'm nuts, you know, and, and they're probably not used to having city folk bringing in cows to slaughter. These guys around here are professional. Once again, a little bit of humility is good. Well, I, I don't know what anybody <laughs> thinks about us around here on my way. This trail is not registered. I'll turn off. And it all worked out. I mean, God's everywhere. God's in Asbury, God's in Thunder Canyon. <laughs> it doesn't have any lights. Let me turn off the video right no, now. No, we should be okay. So we're just gonna drive super slow. Hopefully no blowouts. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, we gotta get a TST on this trailer too, huh? Oh uh, yeah. I didn't even think about that. But we got plenty of them. Yeah. And then hopefully that cow doesn't go through the floor. This is an old trailer that I got from Peanut and Amy. Yeah. Got it for 1200 bucks. I gotta do a lot of work on it, but it's working. So yeah. far, so good. It's kind of cool though. It doesn't know? have any lights. <laughs> it's not registered or, in or insured. But the good news is, is Crow's Butcher is only about 10 minutes away. Um, people that come to Thunder Canyon love going to Crow's Butcher's. Oh man, you wanna talk about local, awesome fresh local meat. fresh meat you know fed without chemicals and without additives and without shots i'm gonna stop right in front of it so you can shoot me ready Come back yeah. at me. i made it to crows now what now what do we do i know 
Oh, this is a funny sign. I'm going to hang it out. You get it right there? Can you see it? Point it out of it. Right there. Okay. okay. Hold on. Do you want me to get out and record? No. Nope. Okay. That's funny. I know this is a big one. So we'll see. <laughs> Oh, this, what? this is a big one. A big one? <laughs> yeah. This is my wife, Mercedes. Mercedes, this is Phil I'm, Crow. I'm sorry. I'm right <laughs> Look at him. He's ready to get out, all right? Yeah. yeah. He's the one that eats all the apples that causes all the problems. Hey, buddy. <laughs> I'm sorry, man. I know. I'm sorry. I'm, yeah, I'm the one. Yeah, remember me? I'm the one that's been chasing you for two weeks. Now you got to go early. I'm sorry. To admire the spunk though. Oh, wow, there. Look at that. Is it nice. always that easy? No. <laughs> <laughs> Come on. Oh, this nice. Oh, pork chop. <laughs> That's her name. <laughs> Come on, pork chop. Are we good, Phil? Yeah, we got you here now. All right, brother. Thank you. All right. Just go in the front. Tell them how you want to cut up. Done. Huh? How cool is that? I think he's like, who moved into our neighborhood? <laughs> who are these people? I'm like, that's a big one. And what's his name? Pork chop. <laughs> All right. What do I well, do? Well, that Turn wasn't too hard. No. High five. High five. Woo. High five. You take it. Do you want me to take it? Yeah. How are you doing? Pretty good, man. How are you? I'm good. Thank okay. you. Okay. Thanks, sir. Thanks, yeah, sir. Oh, hey, my goodness, United. man. What a morning. <laughs> That's my first one. <laughs> hey, honey. I made it. Did you get that baby caught up? I got him caught up. We just put him in there. Uh, I've never done this before. I have no idea. What do you think? What would you do? Um, how about how big is it? He's only about 600 pounds. <laughs> wow, about 600 pounds? Yeah. Where's the little one like that? Small. Very small. Okay. Quiet. You want it to go like this. Okay. 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 Man, what a morning, huh? Yeah. I, I, guys, I got up this morning feeling hopeless. I got up at 4.30. Set around thinking how the heck am I gonna get him away from the other 14? Yep. Got 14 of them now because we've got two babies yep. And it all worked out. I mean God's everywhere. God's in Asbury. God's in Thunder Canyon <laughs> <laughs> I was so nervous and plus having 2,000 pound animals moving around you. Yeah, so it was like okay I got him and it was a it was a celebration when I had him in the pen, right? But then then it was okay. I got to get because dad was agitated. The mother was agitated yeah. uh, They were bucking and coming near the fence at me And then I had to get them out of that section. So opening that section up and moving them out to uh, Rayford's house yeah. about five acres there once I did that and closed the gate back up, I knew I had a great shot. That's when I went back and got you. And this part, I know how to do a trailer, so this was easy. Watch out, little guy. Oh, don't touch that fence. He already knows. Oh, he already knows. No, 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 not another one. My God. <laughs> 